Okay, so just along these same lines again, where medicine is a far greater teacher than it is the therapy. One of the medicines that I wanted to talk about is scouring rush, or gazebenushk, we call it, uh, ecosidum haimali. This is a kanmshkike. It's a bone medicine, and it's an outrageously effective, amazing bone medicine. So you take all of the chemical constituents that are inside of that medicine that help with bone density, is the main issue that we use it for. Uh, you take everything the totality of the story that every one of those medic medicinal compounds all working synergistically to accomplish uh bone health the story that all of that chemistry is sharing is basically can be diluted into the fact that it induces insulin sensitivity of skeletal muscle or skeletal tissue skeletal skeletal tissue uh, or connective tissue in, entirely. And so um, when you have tissue that is insulin resistant, it's resistant to anabolism, it's resistant to growth. Uh, so it can't grow, it can't repair, it can't regenerate tissue uh, because it's insulin resistant. And so it will only continually to continue to degrade, which is not a good place to be. This is one of the underpinnings behind the accelerated aging epidemic that we're all in right now. So what I wanted to share, though, is how what is this showing us? What is this teaching us? What is this teaching us is that uh, how, how does a tissue like your bones and skin, hair, nails, joints, ligaments, uh, how does this tissue become insulin resistant? is because of excessive carbohydrates, vegetable seed oils, not exercising. Um, and so the answer is, again, um, carbohydrate restriction. You could go the rest of your life without ever having one gram of one carbohydrate ever, and everything is going to be more than okay. When a tissue is insulin resistant, how do you get that to become sensitive again? You need to lower the requirements for insulin. The most powerful way to lower the requirements for insulin is to not have any sugar. There you go. You accomplish everything that that medicine is able to accomplish. Um, uh, but one of the things that I always like to share, too, is that that medicine is not just showing us that insulin sensitivity is needed in skeletal tissue uh, or connective tissue. What, what needs to happen is adequate uh, protein intake. Uh, and so if you take just about everybody at every stage of life, at every exercise intensity level, and you take the amount of protein that is probably generally just across the board going to be adequate for most people, it's one gram of protein per pound of ideal body weight. Um, that's going to be satisfactory to be able to allow the muscle to grow your bones are 60 percent protein that's the problem it's not so much a calcium issue as it is a protein synthesis issue um, so and so if we're correcting the insulin sensitivity component of osteoporosis we also need to be having the adequate amounts of protein to be able to allow that synthesis to occur and then uh, there also needs to be a certain stress that's applied to your bones if you want your bones to become strong that that bone needs to be under tension and flexion and resistance we need to be we need to be engaging in exercise and chores and holding our grandchildren stress is always an opportunity to be able to grow and so when stress is applied to your bones there's flexion and tension being applied to your bones the signals are there to tell that muscle to be able to grow then there's adequate protein coming from the foods that we're eating to to be able to allow for that synthesis to be able to occur and then there's uh you know either the medicine or carbohydrate restriction vegetable seed oil elimination that is responsible for the allowing that tissue to become sensitive to insulin so that that strength can be formed within uh, our skeleton, within our connective tissues all throughout our body. It's just really amazing to see medicine more so of a teacher than it is to be responsible for the therapy itself. You can accomplish everything medicine does uh, and then more by listening to that story, listening to what it's telling you, listening to where the true therapy of this plant is. It's in its opportunity or ability to be able to teach. Yeah, so just to clarify, it's really amazing to understand that this medicine is nothing by itself. There has to be adequate protein intake and there has to be resistance applied to that tissue in order to for those signals of growth to be formed. Uh, so by itself, the medicine is not even going to work. But as a mechanism or as a, as a teacher to be able to uh, utilize its, uh, it and all of the chemistries within that plant as a teacher to show us how to achieve this amazing therapy um, that is where and why i think this medicine is incredibly valuable um, so scouring rush for bones uh, shows us how to keep our bones nice and healthy um, so chumigetch 
Jimmy Wetch for to uh Gazibanashk for teaching us how to keep our bones nice and healthy. <laughs> Jeez, nah. Jimmy Wetch. Bum on pee.